Hey guys, BAKD here. In today's video, we're going to be covering the Diablo 4 launch time, um, a community that you can join if you're interested in PvPing. If you're planning on playing alone, this is definitely a good community to join. We're going to have war parties, we're going to go out and slap some cheeks, and we're going to get some legendaries. Um, so, first off, the release of Diablo 4 is. Uh, right around the corner. It's going to be June 2nd at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and then it will be 7 p.m. EST. So get get ready for that. Get your pre-downloads going the day before so you can join right when the servers open up. Um, we do have a Revenant Discord. This is going to be a full PvP clan with war leaders and everything uh, from the ground up. We are going to go into these zones and absolutely slap some cheeks, so be sure you join the Discord if you plan on becoming a Revenant. Um, I will have the Discord link uh, in the description if you want to join that. Um, but let's just go over how the PvP works in this game from uh, what we know. You'll see I sourced this just from the web, fandom. Um, but the PvP works as uh, you can go into the zone, the open world zone, and potentially you can not flag and just farm the area PvE. But there are going to be a few benefits if you do flag or at least go in with uh, parties of people. But you can kill people and kill the bosses in the area to get uh, seeds of hatred. Um, you bring those seeds of hatred to the altar of extraction and you can uh, turn that into red dust that then can be spent um, for legendaries or items or gear or whatever they're going to put there. Um, the red dust will not drop but if you get killed with the seeds of hatred they will drop to the uh, killing player so it's definitely uh, beneficial to kill other people that you see if they're pvp flagged. Um, the more people you kill, you will start getting the Curse of Mephesto, and if you do this enough, they will become a Vessel of Hatred. When this occurs, everybody within a large radius will be aware of the player on the map. Killing the Vessel of Hatred will give a bonus, and if the Vessel stays alive within the area, they get a large bonus at the end of the event. So going in there and protecting your vessels uh, with your clan, you are going to get everybody rewarded pretty much. Um, so the PvP sounds pretty darn fun, and this uh, community we're building is going to be fully built around this PvP system, and we are going to take over the area. So let me know what you guys think uh, about the PvP system as far as we know in the comments and if you guys want to join the discord and be a revenant um, be sure to join before the release date and all the information will be released on how to join our clan but thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace